By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim. Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we open old school Magic Gathering mail. And today I got this very cool package and it is from the Desert Twisters. And the Desert Twisters are an old school, or is, I should say, an old school playgroup in Arizona in the United States of America. And I believe I played against the founders or what, some of the founders of Desert Twisters. If you're a Desert Twister, correct me if I'm wrong and I apologize, but I played against Justin and Lady Deftouch. Very, very cool people, very laid back. Uh, we had a very fun game, uh, especially the game against Justin was just a lot of fun. There's a link popping up right now. You can click on that one. It'll take you to that actual game. And one of the things that happened in that game is I got pretty beat up by his Lord of the Pits. And um, he told me, you know what? I'm going to send the Lord of the Pits to you so you can sign them. Um, I, I thought he was he was making a joke, you know, but I guess he really did because here's the package. Um, and the cool thing is here that, um, as you can see, this must be more than just two Lord of the Pit cards. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to finding out what's actually in this box. And when you turn it around, you kind of see that uh, a few specifics here. It says um, there are t-shirts in here, or a t-shirt, a beret. So that, <laughs> that sounds interesting. Magic cards and pins. So... Wow, really looking forward uh, to seeing what's in here. Let's uh, let's just get going. Get some serious scissors here and I'm gonna crack this open. So one of the things I love about old school is that people do this, you know, people send each other packs. I do it as well for my channel. I sent uh, pins out, I sent altered cards out. Uh, you know, it's just a lot of fun sending it out all over the world, kind of sharing. Um, the love that we all share for, for old school magic. Unfortunately, I think the postal service really needs to, uh, need to find a special, um, oh, ooh, it's a lot of tape here. Uh, the postal office needs to become a little bit cheaper because it's just so expensive to mail things to Europe and to the States nowadays. But let's open it here. Oh, let's have a look. To the sorcerer, look at this. Wow, 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 wait a minute. I think I know what this is because I've seen Lady Death Touch wearing this. I mean, wait a minute. I think this is the beret. First, gotta open it. Gotta look at the pins. Look at that. Look at that. How cool is that, Desert Twisters? How cool is that? Let's take a look. Wow, very nice. This is already very neat. Two beautiful pins from the Desert Twisters old school group. And um, you know what? Let's first read the letter. Let's first read the letter. Just kind of check if there's nothing personal in here. Okay, here. we can I, can. I can share this with you guys. This package is so long overdue. Glad to have finally jammed some games with you. Hopefully next time it'll be in person. Yeah, I hope so too. That would be great. Oh, wait, there's an ad. Oh, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll blur it. I'll blur it. Please feel free to sign, alter, and or stamp all three Lord of the Pits. And please send them back when you are done. Or when you can, it says. And then there's an address on here. So I'll make sure that we don't share the address with everybody. Um, you'll also find a Timmy uniform ready to wear as you navigate life as Thomas the Sorcerer. <laughs> <sighs> or you can let your lady wear the outfit as well, Wink. There are a few more surprises in there. We hope you enjoy. Your friends, Kira, Justin, and the Desert Twisters. Wow, wow, wow. Amazing. Uh, already amazing. I haven't even looked at it yet. But uh, I, I think, I think uh, Kira, I think I, I saw it on your... Kira is Lady Death Touch, by the way. I think I saw on your Instagram, I saw that you were wearing this outfit. And I think one of my comments was, I have to have this. So I really appreciated that you're, uh, you're sending it out here. We don't have Halloween like you guys. But I do work at an international school. So I can... I can... Um, I can wear it there, I guess. And people ask me, who are you, who are you? I can say I'm the sorcerer. So this is the beret, the beret. How do you, how do you pronounce that anyway? So I'm just putting it on straight away. 
These are the sideburns. Oh, wow. How do we? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't want to wreck it. Let me just check here. These are the sideburns that kind of stuck together here. Okay, there we go. Look, we got to open them up, I believe, like this. And then you can, very sticky, you can stick them too. Let's give it a try. Okay, and then what do we have here? Oh, we, we actually have a t-shirt as well. <laughs> this, is, this is so funny. I am definitely gonna, gonna put this all on and uh, add a picture at the end of this. Uh, of this video for everybody to see, so you can you can see me in the outfit. I mean, that's great, isn't it? Um, what else do we have? Wow, there's so much in here. Uh, a card of the Desert Twisters. I mean, then you know it's legit when they have their own business cards, you know it's legit. The Desert Twisters Showdown, yeah, that was their first tournament. Wasn't it, isn't it postponed? Let me know in the comments. Desert Twister Showdown. This is a, that's pretty cool, pretty neat, pretty nice logo. Wild West. And we've got a card here, oh, cool. A rookie card, it says. Um, so this is the Sheriff, and of course this is connected to the Desert Twister Showdown. So this is a custom made card for the Desert Twister Showdown. And let's, let's take a read, shall we? As spells and activated abilities resolve, if they target a single permanent which would be put into the graveyard or exiled, uh, instead that spell or abilities controller may flip that card onto its target from a height of at least one foot if the card turns over 360 degrees during the flip and lands resting on the target. Then the controller of the flipped card gets a bullet counter and the spell or ability resolves. Otherwise, that spell or ability is countered. How sweet. So basically, you got a flip, and that's kind of like that Wild West theme where you kind of have a shootout. So I really, really like that. I guess that's one of the house rules when you're playing at the Desert Twister Tournament. Wow. Very cool. Very cool. And let's see, we have this. I'm kind of expecting the Lord of the Pits in here. Yes, there we see them already. Um, let's, let's open them up. I, I do have this feeling of responsibility now. You know what I mean? Oh, look at these. These are cool. So this is Lady Death Touch, her own logo. Um, she does altars, by the way, really cool ones. I'll, I'll put a link in the description below so you can check out her Facebook page. Very nice, very cool. And let's see, let's open it up. Oh, look at these mini cards. <laughs> Desert Twisters. Very small little cards. Like if you compare them, this is your Sheriff card and here you've got your Desert Twister card. Arizona, very, very cool. But this, this is awesome. Oh, look at these ridiculous Lord of the Pits. So I am definitely going to sign these, don't you worry. Uh, I am going to do it off camera though, because I want to take a moment to just think about, you know, what am I going to put on these? Just look at all the ridiculous art on here. There's this little guy. And there is just, what is all this? These are all the opponents that have actually played against these Lord of the Pits and have been damaged by it. And I really like that idea when you say, okay, you know, you've played against the Lord of the Pit deck, you've been damaged by it. Um, can you... Uh, can you sign it for me, you know? I like that, because you kind of take your memories with you every every other game you play. It's cool. Uh, ooh, okay, wow. Desert Twisters. 
I guess this is signed by all the Desert Twister first birthday bash. Is this then the first birthday bash of the Desert Twisters? Like the, the one year anniversary of the Desert Twisters? Very cool. So yep, yeah, definitely gonna sign this as well. And, oh, nice. We've got some altars. Anyone wants a peanut? <laughs> the Dread Pirate Armada, honorary captain. Yes, very much appreciate it. I feel very important now. Thank you very much for this. Very cool. I'm definitely gonna gonna play. I'm gonna put this in one of my decks. And uh, oh, look at this. Thomas the Sorcerer, ah, oh, very cool. What a beautiful altar. Thank you, Lady Death Touch, stunning. And I think this is your signature, right? That it's your altar. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Definitely gonna play this uh, in my deck, you know, this is, it's so nice, it's so nice. Thank you very much. Um, I am, I, I, like I said, I'm gonna sign these guys. You know what, I'm gonna sign them and uh, I'll add a picture of these cards at the end of this video, um, together with a picture of me wearing that fantastic uh, Timmy the Sorcerer costume. Um, so just uh, stick around if you wanna see that. If not, um, I just wanna thank the Desert Twisters and of course a special uh, thank you to uh, Lady Death Touch and Justin for sending me all these cool cards, these cool pins, uh, the fantastic outfit, man. It's really, it's too much. So as a thank you, I am going to send something back to you. It's not gonna be as spectacular. Obviously, I'm gonna send the Lord of the Pits back, but I'll, I'll add some gifts too. I will definitely do my best. I've already sent you, uh, you know, my pins and some altars of my own, but you know, let me take another look around at the Timmy Mansion which is actually just a flat in Amsterdam, but let me let me take another look around and see if I can find something nice and spicy uh, to send back to you. Um, so thank you all for watching uh, and enjoying, hopefully enjoying uh, this special meal day almost as much as I did. Uh, thank you. And um, if you want to support the channel, you probably know what to do already. Hit the like button, leave a comment, share this uh, on your socials. If you're not a sub yet, please subscribe. It really, really helps. Um, what else is there? Of course, you can join Patreon and you can support Timmy Talks financially. And um, you can do that by just clicking the link that's appearing right now. That will take you to the Patreon page where it shows all the options. And talking about Patreon and the patrons, well, let's go to the end scroll and let's check out the patrons of Timmy Talks. What shall we do with the drunkards?